Greetings, my fellow gamers. It is I, Wraith King. <laughs> Today we will be taking a look at a brand new character. Her name is Regin Leaf. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But that is definitely a very interesting name. That being said, she is on the same character list as Thread. Or on the global version, she has the name of Trude. So you know what? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that she does have a very unusual name. But alright, let's take a look at her passive ability, shall we? What this beautiful lady's passive does is she grants a void damage buff for seven times, and upon lethal damage she has a vitality exchange ability, which means she will survive with 1 HP and swap her health with the highest health enemy. On every second attack she removes debuffs to all allies in the same row as her. Her awakened item, the third option, increases effect attack rate to all allies by 15% per magic type ally. So she suggests that you use a magic team if you want to get the most of this passive effect. Though the meta does seem to be more of an offensive meta right now, I still think the flexibility of a magic type team would be pretty great regardless of the meta. So building a magic type team is definitely safe right now. Now I'm noticing that she does not have a shield, so I think the Korean version had a similar mass nerf as the global version did, if so, not having a shield should be just fine. But if not, uh, I don't know, not, not liking that too much. What her first active ability does is she deals 100% piercing magic damage to all enemies two times and shuffles their formations. This is a very deadly effect and should not be ignored if you're using an offensive build and you do have a tank that is positioned in the front. This effect can completely ruin your build. And since the effect is permanent until she uses the ability again, this can be a very devastating problem. All that being said, this is definitely going to be a very effective ability in the arena. Y'all know I love my Magic CC team, so I'm definitely gonna try her out. What her second ability does is she deals 95% magic damage to all enemies two times. She decreases critical rate by 50% for two turns. And she increases the critical rate of all allies in the same row as her by 60% for two turns. At level 46, the increase to critical rate of all allies in the same row as her goes up from 60 to 80%. So far, she does seem to be a little bit more of a support type magic hero. And I have a feeling that's exactly what she is. A magic support type of hero. Not too aggressive, but passively very, very powerful. What this does is she deals 100% piercing magic damage to 4 enemies 3 times. Has a 100% chance to hit critical. At level 50, she decreases the turn buff by three turns. So that is pretty strong. Now, it's not as crazy as Rudy's Mythic Awakened skill, which I can't wait to show you guys, but it's still pretty good, especially if you're gonna be running a magic type team. This can one-shot people. It's just that powerful. Now, as for her Mythic Awakened attack, 
she has a 20% chance to launch the effect. I don't know why I keep reading that part. <laughs> she deals 200% magic damage to the target. A second effect deals 50% magic damage to four enemies two times. Now, is she going to be meta-defining? Um, I wouldn't say she is going to move much, but... I still think she is a character you would want to try out. She is a very interesting character, but as I said, she is not going to be anything too meta-defining, but I would love to have her on my team to try her out on a Magic CC team. Alright, let's start out with this one. Ah, <laughs> so far I like what I see. Awesome. Gorgeous. That was the prettiest awesome attack I've ever seen. Are you sure she's not a raid boss? Those were some apocalyptic abilities. She is one of the coolest characters in the game. I really like her character. Like, I'm not even joking about that. That, that she is just that cool. I really like those abilities. We're getting her right now. We're getting her immediately. We are getting her. I'm telling you, we're gonna get it. All right. Hope's up, my fellow gamers. We gotta get her. We have to. It just has to be done. We have to. Ooh, okay. It's alright. We, we got plenty more tries. We got plenty more tries. That's too bad. Why does this game keep giving me not Sephiroth? <sighs> oh boy. Single pull, I call it. <sighs> let's, let's just, uh, let's move on to the, uh, Rudy review, yeah. When everybody was upset about Trude killing Rudy, I was like, she just tickled him, okay? She just tickled him, but y'all like, no, no, he's dead. <laughs> I told you Rudy would come back. I told you. I'm not sure why his hair color changed, though. I really like the black. It looked nice on him. No offense, Rudy, you still look just fine. But all right, let's take a look at his ridiculous passive. Now, when I say ridiculous, I mean OP ridiculous. What this does is he increases defense and debuff resist rate of all allies by 30%, and he attacks twice on his basic attacks. All right, now, hold on to your seats for this part of his passive effect. His awakened item, third option of it, Grants him the life control immune. Now, what does that mean? No cheating. No swapping his health with yours. No setting his health to one. None of that health reduction. No, no cheating. None of that. You gotta get through Thick Rudy the old-fashioned way. Swords, magic, and elbow grease, honey. Uh-uh. No cheating. I am curious as to how these effects would work in PvE, though. 
Very curious about that. But all right, let's take a look at his first active ability. What this does is he deals 320% piercing physical damage to three enemies. Deals additional damage to the target's maximum HP by 20%. At level 46, the 20% goes all the way up to 30%. That's a very aggressive attack for a tank. I'm liking what I see so far. But this next ability definitely seals the deal for me. What his second active ability does is he grants a damage reflection to all allies by 30% of the damage received for two turns. Heals all allies by 100% of his physical damage. At level 50, this grants him a Crystal of Resurrection. Now what does that do? It just revives him with 50% of his current HP. And since it can't be removed, you could actually make a Immortal Rudy. If you build around skill cooldown. Now, that's probably not a really good build with Rudy. I wouldn't recommend that. But for uh, memes, you could make a skill cooldown build and make an immortal Rudy for the arena. That might actually be a little fun. I might try that later. But all right, I like this ability. This definitely just means he's meta right away. He's definitely going to be a tank we see everywhere in the arena. But this ability here is what's really, really going to make him meta defining. His awakening skill. All right. What this does is he deals 30,000 fixed damage to all enemies. Everyone and decreases their their buff duration by three turns. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If that didn't kill him already, which it probably will, he's going to insta-kill somebody. That's just a part of the ability. When he uses this, somebody dies. Guaranteed. And as for his Mythic Awakened special basic attack, he deals 150% physical damage to the target. His second effect, Deals 8,000 piercing fixed damage to two targets. Hey! Yeah, well, this is the easiest Mythic Awaken I will ever do today. That's if I don't get Regen Leaf this week. If I do, I'm get Mythic Awakening her first, because I'm going straight for the memes. Daddy? <laughs> Awesome attack animations as expected. Oh yeah. That's 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 just awesome. He just built a castle by slamming his shield on the ground. Seven nights. Oh man, this is way too cool for words. This is just too awesome. And the other guys, I think they're called the Demon Lords anyway. Uh, man. There is one more thing I have time for, and that is Mythic Awakening Rudy and seeing what everybody thinks about the Mythic Awakening Rudy. And Rudy, I better not see anything on that list that I don't like. But if there so happens to be anything I don't like, Rudy. There will be another skull on my dungeon floor. <laughs> so no pressure, buddy. Okay, let's skip our way on down to the codex here. Let's see what everybody thinks of my old buddy, Rudy. 
still don't like that, but hey, I took care of it, didn't I? Rudy, Rudy, where are you, buddy? Rudy, Rudy, Tutti Fruity. <laughs> There's your gem leaf. What do we have here? What does that say, Rudy? What does it say, Rudy? There's no need to skin any more anime characters. Really? It only says she revived him and he's thankful for it. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's good. For now, that is all the time I have left for this video, my fellow gamers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you too could be a part of the Dark Kingdom. But until next time, my fellow gamers, take it easy for me, and please do have a blessed day. I will be uploading my reaction to the other characters I missed tomorrow, so look forward to that. Till next time, take it easy for me, alright? Bye.